Hello, my name is Blake. Welcome to KFTV Dragon News. Hello, my name is Jake. This is the 18th episode of KFTV Dragon News for the season 4 2021 through 2022 school year. In the news this week, we have the news about our school's volleyball trials, joke of the week, fabulous faces, mystery guests, this day in history, and more. For the weeks of March 25th through March 31st, we'd like to say happy birthday to the following dragons. Happy birthday to happy you. Birthday to happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday everyone! Last Tuesday was the start of volleyball tryouts. We hope everyone had fun trying out, and congr congratulations to the ones who made the team. Due to the pandemic, EGUSD elementary students were unable to compete in school sports. This year, beginning with basketball, students have been able to compete once again. On March 29th, over 40 students tried out for Fikert's volleyball team. Less than 15 make the team. After Tuesday's first tryouts, the group was whittled in half and the remaining students competed for the Cubs spots yesterday. Great job to all who tried out and congratulations to those who made the team. Next up, our weather girl, Lily, will be reporting the weather for this week. Hey, dragons. Next week, it will be sunny and warm with temperatures in the mid-70s. Make sure you get outside and enjoy the California sun. Bye! Next up is one of our newer segments called This Day in History. Welcome back to This Day in History with Kendall. April 1st, 1976, Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak founded one of the biggest companies in the world. Apple was founded this day over 45 years ago in Jobs' parents' garage. Wozniak was only 26 and Jobs was only 21 years old at the time. See you next time on This Day in History. Bye, dragons! This year, instead of celebrating the 100th day of school, Freikert's first grade celebrated the 120th day of school. Let's see how much fun they had. We are celebrating the 120th day of school. We're doing a lot of counting up to 120, so we are building um, we're building cup towers, we are um, counting around the room, they're counting tens and ones up to 120, they are building with blocks, they're writing their numbers, we're doing a whole lot of things. What was your favorite activity to do today? Um, art. Um, looking around the room. Count the room. Uh, building. Um, uh, art. Doing the stamp thingy with my friends. Today is April Fool's Day, so we ask kids to tell us their favorite joke to celebrate, and Mr. Murchison may have some sort of surprise for us. 
Um, because April Fool's Day is coming up, do you have a joke for us? Yes. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why, Kendall? To get to the other side. <laughs> why did Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? Why? In case he gets a hole in one. What do you call a fat strawberry? What? A blueberry. Where does Captain America go grocery shopping? Where? The supermarket. Do you know the kidnapping in Alabama? No, what? Um, he woke up eventually. Nice joke. What kind of cat moves? What kind? A cow lico. Um, why do people eat snails? Why? Because they, cause they don't like fast food. Happy April Fools. Hey everybody, it's April Fools Day. The joke's on you. Hey, so what we thought we would do is uh, for April Fools Day is go around and prank the kids. So stay tuned, take a look, and laugh along with me. Hello kids, uh, welcome uh, for our April lunch. Unfortunately, we've run out of food, so thank you and goodbye. Bye. We don't have any more food. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Uh, I pranked you, April Fools. So today's main dish is rabbit stew. I've just had some. It's delicious. It's March now. It's March now. It's March now. Okay, tiptoeing quietly, friends. I want to see. Hi, birdie. this week. Hi everybody, welcome back to an estimate mystery. I'm Hadessa and you're trying to guess how many emojis are in the jar. Make an estimate now. You may want to pause the video so you can give time to think. Clue number one, the answer is less than 30. The answer is divisible by three. The number does not have a four in it. The answer is more than 15. If your estimate is 18, then you are correct. I hope you enjoy this estimate mystery. Bye. Farm to fork, by food style. Miss Sinetti's fifth and sixth grade class planted a garden in our school's new planter boxes last October. Some of the plants were donated by Home Depot. Miss Sinetti's class lovingly took care of the garden each week, even covering the plants during the nights that were freezing. And it smells like carrot too. Like what, well, carrot? Say it smells like 
Oh yeah, because when they're fresh from the ground, that's what they literally smell like. Carrot. Okay. So this guy's literally just They were able to harvest their vegetables last month. Miss Sunetti's class was not only able to eat vegetables from their own garden four times, but they were also able to feed the office staff. How did you guys like the vegetables from the class garden? It was a delicious treat. Loved it. How does it taste? Super good. How does it feel to grow it? Mm, it feels good. I can, we could uh, grow our own food. What did you like about growing your vegetables? What was fun about it? Digging holes. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the plants that you planted? Miss Zanetti told KFT reporters that she loved this experience with her class. I have loved this experience myself and, and my co-teachers, Mrs. Smith and Miss Tracy. Um, the kids had a blast preparing the soil, planting the plants, and then the best part was just harvesting them and then being able to eat them. So um, I uh, encourage any of the classes next year to use those planter boxes in the back because it was just a wonderful experience. Before our fabulous faces, we have our mystery guest. Can you guess which staff member we will be interviewing by just their childhood photos? our new librarian here at Biker. Ms. Dugan, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. So before coming here, were, have you been a librarian already? Yes. So I started at Elk Grove Elementary. That was my kids' school. And I started as a volunteer in the library, and I was there for four years. And that's where I learned everything. And then I went to Elliott Ranch, and I was their librarian for three years. Okay. What books do you enjoy reading? I really like reading Brandon Mall, Lisa McMahon. I like reading fantasy books and um, time travel books and mysteries. And one of my favorite, favorite series is the Nevermore series by Jess Jessica Townsend. I'll check that out. Okay. Do you have pets at home? I do. I have four cats. So with your four cats, do they remind you of any of the books you read? They do, actually. So um, the Nevermore series, the book I told you about, it has a Magnificat in it, which means it's a humongous cat. Um, and his name is Finestra, and he has a lot of attitude, and it reminds me a lot of my cats. What are your hobbies? Um, I like reading, of course. And I like to go out hiking. I really like going hiking in redwoods and um, finding waterfalls and things like that. And I like um, hanging out with my family. That sounds fun. Yeah. We heard you have a book club here for grades four through six. What do you guys do there? So it's fifth and sixth grade. And we mostly eat. <laughs> and we talk about the book. So we're reading Coraline right now. And we talk about what we're reading and what we like about it and what we don't like about it. And we hang out. Um, it's a lot of fun. It sounds fun. Yeah. Before you go, do you have anything to say to the biker community? Um, I'd just like to say that I'm really excited to be here 
and I can't wait to meet all the families, all the parents and everything. Uh, we've got a book um, fair coming up, so I'll get to meet more people. And I love having a library full of kids. I really like having people in here to hang out at recess. Um, so anytime anybody wants to come in, they're more than welcome. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Dugan, for letting me interview you. It's Addie from KFTV Dragon News signing off. Lastly, we have our fabulous faces of Fikert. the news for today and let's remember dragons are kind safe and responsible this is tam tv dragon news signing off boom thanks so because april fool's day is coming up can you tell us a joke the joke is blake has a lot of hair it will hi my name is blake painter and this week is april fool's day what's your joke